Hello everyone, this is my new project. It's a mini desktop vice. I always have problems when I'm uh, gluing two things and I want that the glue will sit, uh, so I, I will not hold them in my hand for 10 minutes. So I wanted something that can hold those things, or you know, something if I'm cutting something, if I'm cutting something that I can hold it in a small vise and I can cut it without it moving around. And so I came with this design. It is mini vise. It's a pretty small. Of course, you can buy them. They are like a, I think they for watch repair. I think you can buy vise like that for watch repair, the smaller ones. But uh, I have a printer, so why not to design and print it? Give me, give myself a little bit of challenge if I can make one of them. And I, I did, I mean, I pretty like the design. The only thing different I did with this one is when I started uh, printing it, uh, usually my walls, the thickness of the wall is set for 1.2 millimeters. For this one, I adjusted to four. With 15% infill, it is pretty solid. You can hear, it's pretty solid. It should not break, even if you hit it with a hammer, it should not damage it so much as if, if you had a wall that's 1.2 millimeters so very thin. This is the all the fires that the fire the fires will come. You, you, you got of the attachment for the for the for the jaws here. Not I, I designed it in a way that I do not want it that in case that you clump something so hard or I don't know you do something that you will damage the 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 close the jaw and you will have to put a new piece so I designed a small attachment with a, like a V shape here so you can hold around things straight they go basically in in front of the jaw so in case that you damage this one this is only like 3 grams of filament this is just you can put a new one uh, of course you, you got your clamp with a screw that it's uh, for one and a for one, uh, for 15 millimeters desk again it's for four millimeter uh, four millimeter wall thickness of course with its screw it is not necessary to use this one you can uh, this is the this is the base of the of the vice it is not necessary to use it's not necessary to use the uh, the clamp if you don't want it you can just uh, I don't recommend drilling and screwing to here. It's plastic, so I don't recommend it. But you can use, I don't know, you can use a bigger screw with a washer and hold it down if you, you know, if you want to use it somewhere else except your desk. Or you can just put a small piece of wood and then screw the wood down if you don't want to use the clamp. The way this vice is designed is I wanted, I didn't want it stationary in one place that you cannot move it around. Or, and then I think that if you want to make it on the axle that it spins, I said, mm, there's more chance for it to fail and uh, break or do something. And I don't trust much the axle for that kind of work. So I came with an idea of doing just like a gear, like a sprocket, like a gear set. So basically, you know, you can just, I will show you, I will show you again later, but you can basically position it whatever the, the place you want it and she will just slide in. You know, if you want it here, 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 whatever you want. If you're hitting it from, if you're using a hammer to hit from a different angle, you can just turn it. It's up to you how you're gonna do it. But uh, let's assemble it. Oh, again, I will use my cheap super glue. It is not necessary to glue it. They fit pretty well without any glue on them. For just for an extra safety, I will just glue them. You can see, we just add a double glue. Not necessary, but we will. You can position it however you want, but it's designed that uh, the bigger you, you you can understand. You can see how it fits to fit in the middle. Smaller goes to the smaller, bigger goes to the bigger. It, it just and it fits. Like I said, not necessary to glue it, just for an extra protection. This part is simple. You just take the the main screw. Let's call it like that. You take one of the jaw. You thread it. It should not be, as I said before, with threads that if it does not screws very well, you can just do it back and forth, back and forth to clean the uh, threads a little bit. It depends on your printer. For me, it printed pretty well. The the difference between here and here, it's uh, all zero point thirteen millimeters. Uh, 
and it does fit pretty well i do like how it fits there is little bit of play little bit little bit so maybe next time i will do it in a 0 0.11 maybe 12. let's add the, the attachment here you see they have their own place so this isn't the one they are different size again you don't need to glue them if you want you can i will not glue because in case i need to change them i don't want the both of them have a different uh, those they have a different radius here and here in case you want to be the small uh, piece of uh, metal in a shape you can you have two different radius that you can use like i said just slides if you want to add glue you add glue i'm not gonna line and here this i could have designed a little bit better but okay this is my you know my first time designing this is the knob you have to glue the knob i'll do it that the way Designed for uh, for 15 millimeters test. If you want to use uh, different desk or different wood, you can. I like said you can use the washer and just a <coughs> piece of wood to screw it down. You put it here. It has uh, four positions. So, whatever if you want to hold it, you can play print two clamps and put it, put it in a different in a different. Uh, you know, have another clamp here, another clamp here. It's up to you. You just screw it down. It's plastic, so it's not meant to be burned, it's not meant to be drilled with a, a lot of force, and it's not meant to be hit with a hammer with a very, very much force. So like I said, this is a mini, this is a mini test of vice. This isn't meant to be hit with a, with a hammer many times, it is not meant to be beaten so much. This is for small things, like plastic things, you know, a model, again, is model car, I don't know what else they want, plastic, uh, for 3D, of course, it's for meant for 3D printing too. That if you want something to hold while you're gluing something, or if you want to hold it, if you want to hold the car and paint it, you can do that. You can, if you want, I don't recommend you adding any lubricant to it, any grease or anything. It just slides away a little bit and it's very smooth. No effort on it. And like I said, it is designed that if you you can change the position of it I want it here, so I have it here I want it here I have it here of course it has my branding on EMXT, the T means tool, so this is my third tool that I designed the other one is the hammer and the dimple dies if you want, you can check my older videos. The season men don't crank on it very much or something. This is it. I, I, if this will fail, I may add a different file to it. But my idea was that if you clamping some, if you clamping something that the, you don't want to break so if uh, the glue should break before the part will so you can just glue again the, the, the handle but if your part will get broken who knows how long it will take you to print it again so it is designed to fail here not the new part or crumple your part designed to fail here and like I said it has a pretty good force with a little bit of tension. You don't need to crank it all the way or use the lens to crank it up. Show you with a different part. It is so smooth. This will be very useful if you want to paint something and you don't want to hold it in in your hand. The device will be free as I say, as always to download in Tinkyverse, Cold 3D and Tanks. 
Yeah, you can scale it up or down, it's up to you how you're gonna use it. Give me a feedback on it if you need if it needs to be if it needs to be adjusted or anything done with it. As I said with the nap, I will test it first. And if it does not work or if it fails too often, we'll just add a slot. So it lacks the it lacks the nap to the threaded axles. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe and share. And I will see you in the next one. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through I just gotta get through, I just gotta get through Cause I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through Sometimes I feel like all is lost, but I know it's not true